Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we took care of one of the Skull, the skull Teller houses in the swamp. And now we're back in Clock Town, where I'm going to take care of a couple audits and stuff, and then we're going to go take care of... Get another heartbeat and another... The other Skull Teller house. So, first things first... I'm going to go put, uh, deposit my rupees and make it back to dawn of the first day. Also, I'm going to go withdraw some rupees, too, after I get the chance. So. Let's deposit it. We'll go back to the dawn of the first day. You know, but technically, on the first day, we're going to have to have some time to take care of the schoolhouse. Because the only way we can get the reward is if we're in the first day, so... I want to make sure I have enough time. And also, I'm going to take out... Uh, let's see, I want to take out about 150 rupees. That sounds right. First, I want to go, uh, well, I don't really need to go to withdraw 150 rupees. I need to go withdraw, like, well, 50 rupees. And, uh, because I said I can get the 100 rupees from this up here, so. There we go. I got that down path pretty good now, so. There we go. Anyway, let's go draw 50 rupees, and then we'll be on our way. Let me go ahead and get the Goron mask ready, because I'm going to need that. Now we're going to head over to the bomb shop and go get a, uh, powder keg. Which, I took the wrong one. It's over here. Alright, so, I'm going to have to use that, like, immediately, so... Because we're going to be heading over to the Milk Road. That sounds weird on the drums. Well, we're eventually going to head over to our next area. Eventually, but not for at least a couple of videos.
Well, we need your powder keg so we can actually go into uh, Amani Ranch. I'm gonna need the uh, mask of truth, so. We're definitely gonna need the mask of truth, so we're gonna go ahead and put that. We're gonna go to the one place we haven't been to yet in the Ramani Ranch. Which is uh, way over here in the side. Remember the cuckoo uh, nest over here, we're actually going to head over this way to the uh, doggy racetrack. What do you want? Mm -hmm. This is Mommy on the Target Trace, like that song says. Do you want to try a dog race? The minimum bet is 10 rupees. Sure. The first going to fetch the doggy, you think we'll run the fastest and bring it here. With the mask of truth, it makes it a lot easier. Because you can talk to animals, you can find one that says, Okay. Rough. Today I should do pretty well. That's not good enough. Rough. My four paws are lighter than usual today. That's still not quite good enough. Uh, no. You're not good. He says his stomach hurts. Rough. Oh yeah, I feel unstoppable. Yeah, him. I know, I'm getting them. Rough. Is that doggy fine? Yes. If the doggy brought me, takes first place, you get triple your bet. Second one. Okay, you break even. If your dog does any worse than that, you lose. So I'm gonna pick uh, 50 rupees. Let's see how my doggy does. We need, we need to win. The mask of truth definitely helps. So, but look at my doggy go. Oh, I've been pissed. It's gonna take a lot of rupees, but at least we get our money back. All right, so let's just keep trying that because if you if you tr uh, win, you trip your bet, you bet a lot of rupees. If you get about at least 150 rupees back, you get a piece of heart. Nope, not for you. What about you? Nope. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Yep. So let's do 50 rupees again and see how this up. If I, I, I'm going to do it a couple of tries. If I do it, then either way. Uh, anyway, if you bet 50 rupees and you win, you get triple back. But then if you get triple back, you get a, uh, a piece of heart. And so far, this one's looking this one's a lot better.
Yeah, yeah, this one's looking a lot better. Ah, uh, for the second. I'm gonna give it one shot. One shot, one more time, one more time off screen. If I don't, I'm just gonna do it off, um, off screen. And then when I win, um, I'll come back. I just find I just find funny that we just throw the dogs. Let's try this one. Four paws go lighter than usual today. If I don't do it this time, I'm just going to do it off screen. These don't, these, um, rigs just are so fun, though. Come on. Slow and steady, slow and steady. So far, so good. Just hang in there, slow and steady. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Well, take me for a walk and call me Spike. You took first place, first place. That's triple amount. Nice going. You won over 150 rupees. I have to give you a bonus prize, too. And there's our piece of heart. Mm. No. All right, so now we're going to um, head to Great Bay Coast. And we're going to start tackling the other Skull Tola House. And like I said, we get our prize after the first day, so we have to do this one kind of quickly. Sorry, right, though. Remember, there's two houses up here. There was the Fisherman's House, and then there was the other house that we didn't enter yet. The other house is the Skull Tola House. So, we're going to need the uh, captain's hat for this, eventually. You know, trust me, you're going to need the captain's hat, but uh, remember there's the uh, go ahead over here. Alright, there's the Oceanside Spider House, which I need bombs. So I need some bombs. And uh, go, um, we'll head on back. Luckily, it's a nice it's a hop, skip, and jump over to Clock Town to go get some bombs and do more off. <laughs> Um, even more difficult. Mm -hmm. 
We just need some bombs. Yeah. Alright, so we got some bombs now. So now let's head back. And let's finally enter this um uh, Skull Tall House. So this might be a little bit of a longer video, but that's okay. Either way, I'm going to need ball. That's all right. Maybe we got plenty of time to finish this, but I got to just make sure. It's by, uh, before the dawn of the second day, we get done. So, I'm definitely going to need the uh, hook shot too, so I'm just going to keep that handy. I don't think I'm going to need any more bombs after this initial one, so. There we go. So, let's go ahead and get the hook shot ready. So I'm probably going to need that. Notice there's two right off the bat, right there. So. There we go. I'm gonna switch this out and put that there because it's easier for me. Notice there is still one in this area, just. Right up there. Oh, I, say, I think I need arrows, which luckily I have. And there is number three. Now, if you notice, click on quiet. So this room is done. This room's got a lot of them, so you gotta pay attention. They're all hiding in the rafters and everything, so you're just gonna have to really pay attention. There's another one. And there's another one. There's a uh, one out in the raffles up here somewhere. It's got a... Look. You got to go up here and... Well, although maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not these rafters. I think I'm gonna need the Goron mask for this. Yeah, what's wrong? I see it up there.
And there's another one. I think there's one hidden behind that spider web right there, so... Which is why that spider web's right there. That was right. Alright. I knew there was one hiding in a raptor somewhere, or just the wrong raptor. And there's another one. I want to say there's one probably hidden behind these, uh... You're not going to be wrong, but... I want to say there's one hidden behind one of these masks. There's a hole in this wall. We're definitely gonna, I believe, there's one in there. Really? <laughs> them in this room. That's good. Alright. Uh, now if I remember correctly, I think there's one in one of these pots. There's a lot of them in here, as you can hear. We're going to need a lot of there. somewhere. I'm gonna say they're up here. There's another one.
tricky to get. There we go. You have to just aim it up there and hope for the best. Which is, there we go. Now we can actually head up to that next room. Up here. We haven't been over here yet, so... I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Anyway, uh, was figuring out. I was looking at some stuff about the captain's hat, and we're going to definitely need it here because we need to talk to these people. Huh? Ah, Captain Sir, it's been a long time since we've seen you. As you have ordered, so we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to the uh, information I've obtained. It seems blue should be shot six. So I'm gonna write that down. If I fulfill my duty, sir, yes. Ah, thank you, sir. I hope the information I provided will be of assistance to you, sir. Now it's your order, sir. I finished the last of my duties. Yes, sir. And this is for getting a uh, heart piece later in the uh, in this area. So, uh, ultimately, uh, we still, there's still a bunch of skull colas getting up in here, too. There's this one in here. If you notice there's a painting right here. Knock the painting down. There's one there. Oh. 
There's another Skull Cola guy that we need to talk to here. This, huh? Ah, Captain Sir, it's been a long time since I've seen you. As you have ordered so, we are investigating the sequence of this place. According to the information I've obtained, it seems green shall be shot first. There we go. Now, if you notice up here, these little raptors, you can barely see it, but there's no one there. Another one here. I have to look kind of closely, but there is a hole right here. There's another one. Then, if you go over here and push this bookshelf, notice. There's a couple behind there. One here. One here. That's all in this room. So we got one more room to attend to. And then we'll be done. If we'll get our prize, then we'll be out of here. The final room is down here at the bottom. If you notice, the painting right there you can get. Play this one in here. Look behind you. The last three is going to require the uh, Goron mask. Pound the door on this, and there's the last three. They're up there in that chandelier. And number 30 will be. Now, let's get our last clues. Uh huh? Captain! Red should be shot fifth. Oops. And red should be shot third. We're definitely going to need those. Let's see, you have to say blue to be shot fourth. And finally. Yellow to be shot. All right now, if you notice, up here in this room, there's all these colored uh, masks. <laughs> Shoot them in the order they gave us. So green, they said should be shot first. Yellow second. Red third, or third. Blue fourth. Red fifth. Blue sixth. We're gonna open up that. And boom. And 
and just we get. Oh, heart, a piece of heart. And we are done with this area. We're gonna need the Goron's mask one more time. To get out of here. So let's get that and let's go collect our reward. Yeah, they, they reappear too, so in case you get to write it down or something like that, you can uh, get them again. Because you can't get up without the um, Goron mask. Too steep of a climb, as you can see. There you go. I thought I had heard some loud noises and I came in to check it out. This place is some sort of underground shelter. Did you find this place? I beg you, let me have this place. Not for free, of course. Hope this will do. And we get the giant wallet. I'm just glad it was something you needed. Anyhow, I won't be needing it much longer anyway. Alright, so we're done. We're going to end the video here, guys. When we come back, we're going to go back to the dawn of the first day. And we're actually going to continue on. We have to go get a, we have to go get a couple masks we need to get to continue on in the next area. So we're going to uh, do that. And start making our way action toward Ikana this time. So have a good day. I'll see you all next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is DKS3, the Crazy Gamer, signing out.